Golf's most famous adage is that you drive for show. Be good, Johnny. Johnny, be good. And you putt for dough. But this man believes hitting your wedge as accurately is the money shot. He travels the world preaching the gospel of short game. And when he talks, it pays to listen. I'm Terry Dill from Austin, Texas. And back in the States, I'm a consultant to Cleveland Golf on distance control with wedges. I devised a system from 20 yards to 60 yards where I can hit it 20 yards, 23, and 27. Then a little harder with it. 30, 33, 37, 40, 43, 47. 50, 53, 57, and with this one, it's a little harder, I hit it 60. So I'm just three yards apart from 20 yards to 60 yards. There are three different trajectories with the wedge. You can put your hands in front and hit it lower, or you can put them exactly in the same place and hit it higher, or you can put the hands behind a little bit, like flying an airplane with the stick. So I've got all these different distances with all these different trajectories. And I just got to be a magician with a set of three wedges. The closer you get, the narrower your dispersion gets. At 100 yards, your dispersion's about, with a good player, it's about six feet on either side. But at 30 yards, it's about a foot or two on either side. So now you're not worried about being, you know, off. If you got this little system, you can get it inside 10 feet a lot. One of the interesting things about this is sand play for the average player. I can teach them with one swing, one sand swing, nine different distances in the bunker. You take the 60 and come down to the bottom of the grip with it open and just make a half back swing, three quarter follow through, hit two, three inches behind it, and it'll go maybe 15, 18 feet. You go to the middle of the grip, make the same swing, everything else will go 18 feet. And here it'll go 21, and when you go to the 56, it'll go 24, 27, and 30. It's an amazing thing. So an amateur does, is it's not no longer scared if he's got three wedges when he gets in the bunker. And Terry Dill not only talks the talk, but walks the walk. The big Texan used his wedges to great effect by winning the infamous Masters Par 3 competition in 1966.